Skywars with a $5 gaming mouse. In today's video, I attempted to play Hypixel Skywars with a full-on gaming mouse that only costed me 5 bucks. I'll also be talking about how this $5 gaming mouse actually compares to my Model D, which I personally really like. This was honestly a very crazy thing to experience, and making this video was really fun. If you enjoy this video and you're feeling somewhat generous, feel free to subscribe. It's free and it makes me incredibly happy. And with that all said, Let's get into today's video. So we're gonna take to Google and we're gonna find some gaming mees. Wait, no. Wait, no, I don't want a graphics card. I don't want a graphics card. Gaming, gaming mouse. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. One thing I've noticed is after the Model O did so good, pretty much every mouse company is trying to look like the Model O. <laughs> oh, look. Price. Say, we should go for under five queen monies. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, look at it. It's very purple. A right to eight. Dude, if Pepsi made mice, it would look like this. A rise. What? No. All right, guys. It is time to unbox the pink gaming mouse. All right, so here it is. The Gav Optical. Oh my god, my camera! No! So this mouse has a 4,800 DPI optical sensor. Responsive buttons! And a cable! Here's some other stuff, which I honestly don't really care about. Just the thought I had, but look at the size comparison. Like, how thin is this? Look at the Model D. How? How do they fit it? I'm gonna open it and there's just gonna be a rock. How light is this? Honestly, in comparison to my Model D, pretty light mouse. This is incredibly light. <laughs> what are you? We'll be attempting to open this with one hand. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're just gonna pick it up. Give it a shake. Shake, shake, shake. Not working. Oh, <laughs> Oh, oh, I want to see it. I want to see it. Yeah. <laughs> what? I'm not going to lie. I mean, it does feel cheap, but it is like five bucks. So. Huh. Sorry, my camera ring is terrible. Wow. All right. So in size comparison, they honestly aren't too different, as you may be able to tell. In terms of glide, they both... I don't know. They both pretty much glide the same. Build quality on this mouse generally doesn't feel too bad. Like, the quality... Like, you can definitely tell that they had to make some sort of sacrifices to make sure this is under $5. But in general, this honestly isn't too bad. So without further ado, we are about to go into some Skywars games. Hmm. Alright guys, so here we are in the first Skywars game. Very quickly, I wanted to point this out, but by all means, I am not a mouse expert. Believe it or not, I don't really know a lot about mice. In fact, I'm probably the polar opposite of a mouse expert. But with that said, I'm gonna do my best to explain what I feel about this mouse, and honestly, just my thoughts and opinions on it, and what I think about the mouse. With that said, one of the first things I've noticed about using this mouse so far is that the tracking... I don't know. The tracking is definitely very different in comparison to the Model D. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, I really... What? <laughs> I'm very confused. Skywars players are just a completely different breed. Out of here. <laughs> yeah, first win with the mouse and two kills. Not bad. All right So just to reiterate on the first point I made in this video one thing which I have noticed is that the I don't know how to explain it But sometimes if you place down the mouse just like this the mouse will every now and again just go to the absolutely different direction Messing up your aim pretty badly This has only happened once so far in my four minute playing session. So honestly I don't think it's too much of a big deal. I mean, it is kind of, but for me, if I was using this mouse, I wouldn't really be too bothered by it. Five kill game, not bad. And I think the weird tracking has something to do with the mouse being an optical mouse. 
He's mine. He's mine. <laughs> bonk, bonk. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> GG. I'm so sorry. Seven kill game. Wow. So moving on to the next thing you guys are probably wondering, which is if the mouse can drag click or not. So I have actually tried drag clicking on this mouse, but the thing is, is that you kind of need more friction. The mouse is very flat, which means your fingers don't really have any friction, which means if you want to drag click, you kind of have to like wet your fingers, as weird as that sounds. I'm insane. This mouse is definitely not a good mouse for clutching because the optical sensor, I don't think is too good with clutching. Anything that requires aiming, honestly, isn't too amazing. All right, let me just kill this guy real fast. Bye. We win. Oh, he survived. Did he? Oh, no, never mind. All right, so before we try drag clicking, it is essential that we try double clicking. Double clicking is very important as it allows drag clicking and butterfly clicking to basically be a thing. Now, obviously, nothing's stopping you from butterfly clicking without double clicking, but it, it, but it really helps you get higher CPS, especially when it comes to bridging. I'm probably gonna have to conclude that this mouse, although it can really double click, isn't really a double click mouse mainly because this mouse is just impossible to double click at least continuously it would take a lot of perfection hey oh my gosh okay 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 dude bye <laughs> oh huh can you bow with a five dollar mouse i don't know looks like it hey 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 dude dude Dude, 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 dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my aim. So double clicking is not really a thing on this mouse, which probably means butterfly clicking and drag clicking aren't really the best. Nonetheless, I'm still probably gonna try it because I don't know. We might be surprised. All right, so here's me drag clicking. So like I just demonstrated, sometimes the mouse does double click. I think I saw a high of 15 CPS. But please, whatever you do, do not get this mouse for double clicking because the clicks are not consistent. But the clicks are definitely not con- Hey, 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 hey. Oh no, <laughs> I gotta make sure I win this, I'm sorry. <laughs> GG. Just in case you guys need more clarification whether or not this mouse can butterfly click or not, here's me butterfly clicking. Yeah, it's not a very good butterfly click mouse. It is definitely not a very good butterfly click mouse, but honestly, I don't want to go too hard on this mouse because it is only $5, obviously. Please, please. Since this mouse is only $5, you can't really complain. It's a miracle that you can even put together a mouse for $5, in my opinion. Don't even get me started how they make $1 mouses. Oh no 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 Oh no 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 lava Oh he went around it No I went in the lot Oh my goodness No One thing that caught me off guard using this mouse is just how good it is for jitter clicking in terms of CPS not aim Definitely not aim the optical sensor is definitely not doing this mouse any favors But it's understandable considering the mouse's price point Hey. On this mouse, I can get roughly 11 to 12 CPS jitter clicking if I actually try. Whereas on my Model D, usually I get between 9 to 10. I mean, I think that's just basic knowledge. And why? Oh my. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what is he doing? Watch out, dude. Oh. Oh no. 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 <laughs> Uh, what? So in comparison to the Model D, I, you can't really compare these mice. They're at completely two different price points. The Model D obviously being on the money's end, and the $5 mouse definitely being on the cheap end. So far, I can definitely say that using this mouse, I wouldn't mind if I had to use this mouse for like a month, if I had to like wait on getting a new mouse.
aiming can sort of be a nuisance, but honestly, it is not like the worst mouse by all means. I have seen way worse. This mouse is not really too bad. And he has a KB free rod. Get out of here, dude. Get, get out of here. Why am I better with this mouse than in my normal videos? That being said, I have a very low chance of winning this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it did the mouse did the thingy. Oh, yeah. Now, would I really recommend this mouse? Probably not. Some other very subtle things which I noticed about using this mouse probably would be the fact that it does have a weird vibration sort of sound if you slam the mouse. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not surprised by that. If you don't know, you're not really supposed to slam a mouse, so I don't know if my slamming mouse test really works. Oh! In my overall opinion, if you only had $5 to spend on a mouse and you could not save up for a mouse, th this mouse... Honestly, now obviously if you actually have money to spend, do not get this mouse, but say if you only have $5, generally I don't think this is too bad of a deal for $5 considering the fact that the Model D is $50. Obviously there are a few ca cavi, caviacs, ca cavi. I don't know woods. <laughs> I don't know woods. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, you're gone. Bye. What are you doing? <laughs> Can I win? No! Please, I need win for video. What? I need a win for a video. <laughs> hey, yo, what's up, guys? You coming to mid? Oh, combo with $5 mouse. Come on. Oh, shoot. The aim. The aiming thing. The aiming thing. There we go. There we go. Please, can I? Dude, stop begging. They're probably on the same account. I'm so sorry to do this. I'm I'm so sorry. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. We are so close to YouTube rank. Bye. <laughs>